Well, hello everybody. Uh, I'm here for the reason I'm going to compare some flashlights and what I have is basically some some kind of uh, moderate throw with with uh, uh, you know that still has a good a good flood type of beam profile. Um, nothing too fancy as far as super thrower or a flood monster, but but you know kind of a more uh, everyday and um, um, a little bit of the best of both so uh, the flashlights I have are the Olight S80 baton and then I have this new one this is a shadow uh, this is kind of a generic brand but it it, it does okay especially for what it is uh, it's a shadow JM35 uh, and then I've got these two Eagle Tac flashlights, um, MX 25L3, and there's two different versions of these lights. Uh, we've got the six times XP G2, and then the MT G2. Um, they're very similar, with a difference in in color temperature. The the XP G2 is um, a, a more wider, uh, cooler, uh, a cooler type of of uh, color temperature, and this is this one here is is much warmer. Um, other than that, the beam profiles look rather similar. So let me go ahead and fire some of these up. The main one I'm looking at, want to look at today, is the Shadow JM35, and just see how it does against some of these other ones. Um, it was really less expensive. I got it for thirty-seven dollars, I believe, on 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 online. Um, and if anyone's interested, you can ask me uh, in, in the comments, and then I'll know there's some interest. I'll go ahead and link that website up where I got it. It's, it's available. You can you know search for it and just basically Google it, and you can get it. Um, so, anyways, with Without further ado, I'll go ahead and fire some of these up. I'll start with it from left to right, and I'll go ahead with the Olight first. <clears throat> so this one, the S80 Baton, and it's interesting. It has a, a so this here, it's on high. It has a, uh, it's rechargeable externally, and it comes with a proprietary charger, um, and it gets pretty good throw, and it has it's pretty bright. It lights up a, a fairly wide area, uh, and it comes with a 26650 battery. But it's it's a proprietary battery from Olight designed to charge within this flashlight. And this flashlight will take standard 26650 batteries, and it will also take um, uh, 18650s with with a a, a you know. Um, some kind of, of uh, thing to, to adjust the dimensions so it would fit like a tube or something like that. <clears throat> but using standard batteries in this Olight S80, you will not be able to use the external charger because it is only uh, designed to work with the proprietary battery. So if this proprietary battery from Olight runs out that came with it, which it shouldn't for some time, but if it does, then when it does, you would have to you know, either buy a new one or you can just then go to the standard external charging with the regular batteries. But this one does pretty good. Um, anyways, let me go ahead and hit this this Shadow JM35. And this one, it, it comes on in the low mode. So it's in low, and then it has three modes, low, medium, high. So I go to medium and high. And it's surprising, it, it has really good throw. And it lights up a very wide area. It's an XHP 50, which is one of the newer Cree bulbs, um, and it really lights up a, a, a wide area. It's got a huge amount of spill, and then it's got a, a fairly good throw as well. So it's interesting. But the the one thing is, it's a, it's a compact light for for what it is. It only has a, it takes a single 26 650 battery, and Oh, it just cut out. I'm using an 18 an 18650, 
battery and I think it just died because I'm not doing my battery any favors by putting it my my little it's not even an IMR it's 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 so I'm probably driving it too hard so anyways at least we got to look at that and hopefully my battery is good for another day um, now we'll go go to the XPG2 version of the Eagle Tac and this is the Eagle Tac MX25 and this one is a lot brighter it's more lumens but it's a different beam profile uh, it doesn't the spill doesn't go out as far quite as far as that JM35 but it's what spill you do get is is much brighter <clears throat> and the throw uh, it looks like the hot spot out to the to the the spill is very very uh, you don't have a defined hot spot versus spill. It's, it, 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 it transitions very evenly, um, which is kind of nice. So if you're trying to just look around and see what's around you real quick and shine this thing, you know, it's very good for that. You can see a lot. <clears throat> and it's a cool, cool, rather cool temperature, but it's a nice beam. And I, I like it, it's very small. It's smaller than its other brother sibling flashlight, the, uh, MX25 L3, and this is this is the the warmer MTG2 Cree, and then this one lights up a lot as well. Maybe it doesn't light up quite as much. I mean, possibly, possibly the the uh, the MTG2 or is not quite as bright as as the XPG2 the six times XPG2 but this one is is warmer color temperature and you can it it uh, it, 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 it cl more closely uh, kind of coordinates with with the way the human eye sees color so you can see more color when you use this this warmer color temperature versus the cooler more blue kind of you know color temperature that has a more dynamic shifting when you turn it on it seems like I think the cooler lights can seem brighter than they actually are, but uh, the the this warmer lights kind of uh, I don't know you you can see more more robust type of you know it's more better for for human vision to see what's actually there in terms of color if you're into that type of thing, but you just need to see to see if something's coming at you or something like that, then it doesn't really matter, you know. <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, that's these lights. I think the JM35 is a winner. Um, that's the one, uh, the main one I wanted to come out here and look at it and see how it holds up. Cause I got this, it was, you know, these other lights cost about 150 bucks versus the, the Shadow JM35 was $37. And it does pretty well. It doesn't have the, a lot of features, but if you get the right kind of battery for it, um, uh, I would say it's a good buy. You know, I, I would definitely say it's a good buy. Um, <clears throat> I'm rather pleased. This is the XHP50 version. They also have an MTG2 version, which again would have that warmer kind of color temperature. Um, so that's about it for me. Uh, thank you very much if you've watched this video and have a good one.